obviously anyone who's played a sport knows injuries are just part of it. You know, can you know you can just pull your, pull a muscle in your back and kind of play the rest of the game, and it maybe it waxes and wanes throughout that game. If you sprain an ankle, some some sprains are bad enough where you kind of limp off the field and you're unable to get back in, and and even some of those are minor enough that you could probably watch that and. And after a day or two, it improves enough where you can bear weight and it's not swollen and, and it improves pretty quickly. Injuries that are pretty severe, you know, if you injure your knee or ankle badly enough that you have to be carried off the field or you couldn't put weight on it, to me indicate maybe something a little bit more severe, maybe not worth working through or playing through. If it's minor enough where you play or and maybe if you could play near peak performance I think that's probably something you can watch but if it really is affecting your ability to play or I always tell patients if you're only going to go out there and play about 50 percent of where you're able to play you're probably not even helping your team anyway and it's probably better to protect what what injury you may have from getting worse and maybe get it looked at. I'm comfortable with parents or patients watching their injuries initially because like I said almost everybody gets hurt at some point whether you jam a finger playing basketball or sprain an ankle playing football um, everybody gets hurt at some point you know ice elevation ibuprofen those are all things most people kind of know and recognize you know the typical rice treatment with rest ice compression and elevation most people are pretty in tune to that and for a lot of injuries that that gets them where they need to be but there's other injuries that despite that it just things aren't working out whether it's swelling bruising uh, joints that swell pretty quickly are usually an indication something severe is going on uh, bruising can occur from anything from a contusion or just a bruise and or it can mean something's torn and, and it needs to be looked at and it's, it's often hard for parents and family coaches to figure out what's what's a really worrisome injury versus one that they can watch joint injuries back injuries muscle injuries those are ones that I think a lot of people do try to play through and I do think if you can finish the game then it's probably not a very severe injury if you're having difficulty walking throwing depending on the sport throwing catching if, if you're having difficulties it's probably something to pull yourself from and, and probably have it looked at within a day or two